Welcome into DCTF live at the UIL Football State Championships at NRG Stadium. I'm Max Thompson of Dave Campbell's Texas Football. That is Mike Craven. We just watched Bremont beat Albany 35-20 to repeat as the 2A Division II State Champions. Mike, we have to start with Rashad Paul and just how awesome he was. Uh, game offensive MVP for the second year running. Talk about his performance and what he does for Bremont. Uh, he was fantastic. You, you tell he had a little bit of struggle early on in that first quarter as the offense kind of adjusted to blocking that 5-2 scheme that Albany does. But once he started trusting that blocking scheme and they developed some rule, uh, some holes for his legs, he was able to then pass the ball a little bit, open up that offense, score some points. Sort of goes without, uh, kind of gets overlooked in all of this, but uh, Rashad Paul gets all the, the attention, but Joe Williams on defense. Talk about how great he was tonight. That whole defense was great, and he had the two biggest plays of the game, forcing those turnovers, especially that last one that preserved the lead. So that defense is the unsung hero. Of course, Paul's going to get all the talk. He's a T he was a TCU commit, kind of you know big D1 prospect. So he's going to get a lot of the headlines, but that defense led them to this championship this year, and it was impressive to watch. On the flip side, you've got an Albany team, uh, much older, came all the way back, crawled all the way back to this game, only to have nothing really go right, uh, at least not enough to, to make a big difference tonight. Uh, how do you feel for those kids right now? you got to feel bad for them, because you know all offseason the message was, let's get back there, let's get revenge, let's do the, you know one more game this year. They reach the title game, they get the team that they want to play to get that revenge back, and Fremont just happens to be a better team, and sometimes that happens, but there's nothing wrong with being the second best team in the state in your classification, your bracket, so I don't think Albany has anything to hold their heads about it's a great, great year, great team, just a better team here today. Rashad Paul, one more year left at Bremont. Are we looking at a three-peat next year? They're in the running. I mean, they have to be considered one of the top two, three teams next year. They, other than him, they have they have other guys coming back. Browning and the wide receiver is one of the only guys uh, leaving in the skip. And Williams is coming back, so uh, their running backs coming back. So they're going to have a lot of talent as long as they can replace kind of the, in the trenches, get some offensive defense alignment in there. I think they have to be considered the favorite to, to win a three peat next year. You heard it here first. Keep an eye on Bremont next year. This year, 35-20 over Albany. A very impressive performance by the Tigers. I'm Max. My, I am Max Thompson, that's Mike Craven, this is DCTF Live at the State Championships, and we only have eight more games to go. Only eight more to go. We'll see you guys soon.